Remember that big rock that wound its way through Los Angeles? We all remember Yes, it. we do. The LACMA rock. In a few months, the space shuttle Endeavor will move through Southern California traffic in much the same way. That's right. The shuttle beats the rock, yeah. though. Any yeah. day, we know that. And that's why KTLA's Dave Malkoff went to find out more about Endeavor's final journey. When you come to the California Science Center, you'll notice the giant kelp tank that puts you underwater, or the Gemini capsules upstairs that once flew above all of the Earth's oceans. But you'll probably not notice the construction site out back. I think they're mostly working on the concrete foundations for this building. That is what we asked California Science Center CEO Jeffrey Rudolph to show us. We're now standing in what will be the space shuttle Endeavor Display Pavilion. Three, two, lift off for the final launch of Endeavor. The space shuttle Endeavor built right here in California, then piggybacked out to the space coast in the early 90s, is finally coming home to L.A. So, so this is the edge of the building. The building has to be huge. Endeavor's tail stands nearly 60 feet. You look up at the building and you're looking about the height of the tail of Endeavor. is. The only way to show you how the shuttle is actually going to be installed here is to take you high above L.A. on the roof of the museum so you can see where it's going to plop down belly first and attaches to the concrete foundation on the same points where the shuttle actually used to attach to the rocket boosters. Despite it going into space and re-entering into the Earth's atmosphere, it's still kind of delicate. It's a national treasure, so they have to build walls around this so no sunlight gets in. You'll be able to see it from the inside only. These are all the footings and foundations and then... The building is only a temporary home as Mr. Rudolph builds his master-planned air and space center with Endeavor as the centerpiece. Endeavor, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Only three shuttles survived their trips into space, Endeavor, Atlantis, and Discovery. And Discovery went to the Smithsonian. The test ship Enterprise is going to Manhattan. Uh, Atlantis is staying at Kennedy Space Center. And out of all the museums that wanted her, Endeavor is coming to L.A., where big money donors live. NASA needs some money from us to pay for the costs of uh, preparing it. Yeah. Well, we've, we've sent NASA $14 million already for, uh, for the exhibit preparation, getting the toxics out of it. Building the temporary housing and the new Air and Space Center will cost somewhere in the range of $200 million. That includes moving expenses. You're going to drive it down the street. We're transporting and not driving it, but yeah, it's, so it's coming, it, la it will land at LAX. However you put it, someone's going to have to drive that transport from the airport to the museum. You can maneuver the shuttle from here, you can work the robotic arm from here, and right out there is the massive cargo bay. You may have seen CNN's John Zarella crawling around inside Endeavor. Unfortunately, you won't be as lucky. It's kind of hard to get inside a space shuttle. It's it's really not very practical. Yeah. It's um it's very small. Nevertheless, but, just seeing a real spaceship up close will be good enough for the kids who will someday in the future fly those private missions to Mars and beyond. At the future home, the Space Shuttle Endeavor, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Mm, imagine the line to see that thing when it gets here. Yeah, I know, and you can't go inside. Not for the claustrophobic, no. that's for sure. Not, enough not for me. <laughs> not for the tall guys. No, that's Our early summer weather about to get even better.